I just want to point back to this portion of the previous demonstration that I just did because what we see here is, is exactly the problem associated with spanning tree and the price we pay to use spanning tree. So in this scenario I have two interfaces Ethernet 1.1 and Ethernet 1.2 between 5k1 I'm sorry 9k1 and 9k2 and these interfaces are not 100% in service. We manipulated the root port election so we see that this interface is forwarding and this one is blocking. Now the drawback to this is, is that I have the potential physically to be able to send 20 gigabits of throughput but I can't leverage the second interface. Ethernet 1.1 is down on the side of 9k1 because I'm actually blocking any traffic thus preventing any information from coming into 5k Two, I'm sorry, 9K2 via Ethernet 1.2 and then being hairpinned and sent back out. So to stop that, what I'm doing is I'm actually blocking that data path on 9K1. This is what we refer to as the price of spanning tree when it comes to deploying it in data center. And this is a less than ideal scenario. So what I want to do is I want to look at things from the perspective of some theoretical concepts associated with being able to, at the very minimum, be able to use both of these interfaces simultaneously for the purpose of sending data. So let's talk about that in the next video. I'm Terry Vinson and I'd like to thank you for learning Data Center with me.